Onaza njoma Bikono Ubuwa akaje buru Ibeje boku Wenye fe awa supreme leader Kombo kontine kone kebine nikwe Kombo kona Onye kena biafra Kombo kona Onye hurumu ya nanya Biko konyo kula kuroto konyo kula wetu oku Kaya wali beje boku Ye fe ya Oboto Jehovah Kebinikwe Amen. I be your be. I be your be. I be your be. I am very, very happy to see all of you here in Houston today. Very happy. Before we proceed, we must dedicate this very gathering to the memory of those that have passed, that we may live, to those that fell in battlefields across the land of Biafra. Those that spilled their blood, that this very revered name may resonate in the land of the living in 2019. We shall remember them. Customarily, I would pray. But today, I want an elder, a veteran, a warrior of Biafra to pray for us. I met him yesterday and today I want him to pray for us. for what we have fought before. From the beginning to the end, our mind is going to be fixed at one point. Biafra. When I saw our brother Carlo last night, It reminds me the hour I was commanded to do something that several of you were not born at the time I did it. But we are all going to pray the lives that we lost, the lives that are forgotten, The lies that don't seem to be remembered. We will one more time. I fought as a captain from the rank of lieutenant to the rank of being captured, even as a major. Glory be to Christopher that you picked me up from a summary sector and brought me out to Umabai, where I was asked by Yujuku, make sure I go to Port Harcourt. But we have lost so much. We have lost so many. We have shed so much blood. We will not forget. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we are asking you, mighty God, that you are God that knows all, the beginning and the end. The hour has come again. Yes, it is by your grace 
that we had those that are crying, that have cried, and still are crying, shed the blood. Did not withstand, did not withhold, did not step back, never been moved by the trench. The hour has come for all of us to have one mind unified and believe. Oh God Almighty, listen to your children, the men, the women, the boys, the girls, the elderly and the young, have raised up the force and say, God Almighty, are your life. God Almighty, are you alive? Be with us. Amen. Be with us. Amen. Be with us. Amen. It is the power of God that the rest of the world will do by the time. He has raised his men. They faced 755 soldiers at Gold Cup. I was one of them. But we fought. We did not. We did not. We did not. And we are able to stand in the power of the onslaught of the Nigerian army. And they knew the brave soldiers were gathered. And they fought hard. God Almighty, we are asking you at this moment. We have come from north, south, east, and west, and we are asking you, dear Father, don't forget your promise that your children will not be vanquished. Your children will not be destroyed. Your children will not be destroyed. Your children will be not destroyed. Oh God Almighty, let your people come together and the God which you have led to lead, let him be a leader. Let him be a leader. Let him be a leader. But we will be unified. We will be unified. We will be unified. The land of Biafra. The land of Biafra. The land of Biafra. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I come for all of our elder statesmen. 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 I went to the cell phone in the beginning of the second shot of her town because I'm not going to I'm not going to be afraid I'm not going to be because I'm not going to be on your cell phone I'm not going to be 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 we have professional videographers in the house. Please. Omo chineke. Aine che. Kandi onyima. We korai our national anthems. Nam, are we ready?
We are going to sing. Not to have us. Am I right? The first stanza. Yes. Like yes. We try to avoid the cameras from getting them, shooting them here. Okay. Okay. I can I download here? All right, so actually I can hum it. It's actually better natural. So let's all stand, please.
you, thank you, mommy. Thank you, our son. Thank you, the little dear friend. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please. Can we take our seats? And please do not forget, all cell phones must be shut down, please. All cell phones must be shut down. On behalf of our Supreme Leader, on behalf of our hosting coordinators, once again, I respectfully and humbly welcome all sons and daughters of their friend. At this point in time, let us request the presentation of the traditional color note to be presented and brought forward by our Secretary General. Please, let the color note appear, please. How about for your son one Colonel, please. One minute, because what will he end up an auntie? Baburia Bia. Kediti, our leader. Justin, one minute, Bia. Ogi Wanalu, Eziata, Nedwai, Nedu IPOB in the host. Our head, Biafra. One family. One family. We must continue, and freedom is ours. They won't. They I buriya o onyoki ogosera yoji mbadama Mechara nyo anijiriche nobi 
mai tu kun ke kan ma o dan dilo gbara guruguru ne je ndi an je ngbe ni ne awo pani ja di je na libo onye karo ji o ga ka an jo ka an ka ka da ma mi ne ni ne dum na ti ko nya nya ma mi ne me so ka ni ku me ka ri ka ni ku na ha ji so nje wonu nje wonu nje wonu Mba, aku wala kwa jigi, buro jigi de wana nelu. Nye awa supreme leader. Awa madika, biko wapo tan magi, wakil mono tis royal highness. Wapo tan jia. Biko Barata, and when you are not Barashi Oka, no Eba. Biko, Biko, the Aki Waraji. When you are not Barashi Oka, you are Oji. That is this is the, the cradle of civilization of Ndibo. And I'm Barawa Waraji. Where are you? You only look who's dead. Only look who's dead. The federal capital of Biafra. Only look who's dead. Where are you? Of course, you are also only the young. Where are you? Your professor, Osweke, for him was dead. They are here. The only Abia, no Eba, the Boji, the only Abia, Omo ne power man, Omara, Omo ne Jojo Tezie. We are all just only Ebo in state, Ebo in state, Omo ne Akanibia. We are all just we are Professor Sadobe, Shidelta. On your own one, the first premier of the Western State, Dennis Osadebe, Nyeoji. We lodge it to Tony, Ibera, on your first state, Ibocha, Biko, the Tony first state in Eba. Romeo, Namde, we lodge it. Your own one, the only proof of who be there. Mbwe beke eshe ni boni Buguma Kalabari Wele pata Okrika Nembe Nye yoji Nye woroji Please is there anybody from Uganda in the house? Is there anybody from Uganda? Is there anybody from Akwaibo? And you can me I saw it there. No, I said, woman, we can't give you them. Eh? Nem Nurana, don't worry. I saw it there. So, so they did. And you make me. I never heard you on a flower again. Cross River State. Cross River State. Can only cross river. Whatever. Yes. The guy is in the house. Okay, get it for give it to him. No, 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 no. Get it. Oh, you want to have no granddaughter? And you're gonna want to have a flower. All right. OG, I want on your hands. I want on your hands. And when Onya is in the house, Lumba, Watera, the Konyans, Uno Manomena Libo, Owen said that he is a Ogunishi, Nebroma chief, the Konyama, Nomena Libo, Onyans, Onyans, I will touch it, Oro Lenten Zedine, 
period. Ngwa weroji nyofonye na handrine ku chief ke heloro hunu nyeya mbaraso nuruana. Oje a holori nso ka gazie ganya ka waya korutonyobula let it be shared itoma in the house on air oyi yo munai oyi umunne koloni nche ada in the house koki in the house igala in the house Yes. Thank you. Oja go down Biko. Bayasa. Somebody from Delta has only taken call a note. Osadebe is from Delta. Is anybody from Bayasa? Omune Okilo. Anybody here? Omune Jonathan Burayishi. Anu here? Thank you, Biko. Kabapu also. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen. Onye wa igosunu may God bless all of us for being here. We will continue to accord this respect for the fact that our leader is here in this in this city today. Life. You all remember during 1967 to 70. That was a popular word, Sabotua. As at last week in the Book Catholic Church, I witnessed Sabotua's. Who was telling me that our leader will not be here? I, Chineke. <laughs> Sabotua's shame unto them. Sabo do a shame unto them. You are a living witness. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, please permit me to welcome to the microphone our zona coordinator, Eziata, Ezimwa, Muna Jim Saga, Lady Opala, Biko Kupunaka. The children of God are here. So my name is Munachim Saga, like he said, and I am going to give a little opening statement. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm the, sh the most shyest person. <laughs> For my people. Yes. All right. So, I want to use this occasion to. <laughs> I want to, first, first of all, meet my leader, my Lord and my Savior. I welcome you. For information, he did not tell me to call him so. But I find I did you so, my Lord. Thank you, thank you for coming to the of the African I do want to thank our deputy master general, as well as the head of the uh, Directorate of State, Mazi Chika, he does the IPOB North American Rep, Mazi Ogin, and a US coordinator. My wonderful man, he's here. That's a tall handsome guy. And um, of course, all the principal servants all over the world, we thank you for your timeless offering to your people. We thank you for time and time, staying up all night. I know for me, I'm not able to sleep because I want freedom for my people. And of course, I cannot be here tonight without my sister, Ethos. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot be here tonight without my sister April does in Kentucky. She does, she's my one-on-one, -on -one. she helps me with everything. And do want to acknowledge my husband, 
for allowing me to serve my people. Husband, I thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. You all are welcome to this great event. Today is indeed a remarkable day in the lives of um, people, the people of Biafra. It is an honor to have the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mahazin Nandikano, or Hamadike One! <laughs> of the Biafra in our midst, a man of honor and vision, who has seen our destination even when the journey to come. No wonder he's so passionate about what he's doing. His vision is so unique and clear to him that he is confident and comfortable working with oppositions. He freely takes help questions from critics and does not attack anyone, does not attack anyone who is honestly doing the right thing for the people. Rather, he welcomes them with an open arm. An example in his last meeting with Chairman of the World Evil Congress, Professor Gioko, his love and dedication to his people of Biafra is quite infectious. This is a man that has given up everything, including his life, to see that his people are free. It's therefore not surprising that he has no equal when it comes to freedom, when it comes to the people of Biafra, when it comes to fighting for his people. People have come before him, and others that claim to fight for Biafra freedom also exist. But it is our bridge to freedom fighting we have seen that some of these people were never are not sincere in getting freedom for their people. They only wanted to make a name for themselves. They often make a fortune from the misery and pain of their people. Some of them even get to the extent of calling themselves the elite, and they have the audacity to call their own people misgrants. And as a result, ashamed to identify and team up with their people. Unlike this group of persons, Mazi Nandi is everything to everyone. He freely identifies with his people, irrespective of their social class. He is even ready to be leveled a Miss Grant along with his people. You know he was asking for a t-shirt that says Miss Grant. <laughs> 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 what was that for you? <laughs> so he's, he's willing to be leveled a Miss Grant for his people. They willingly obey his command, without being bright or good job. A case study is the annual 30th of May sit at home in Biafra land. It is a no fact that the Biafra people are Republicans and very democratic in their approach to life. So when you see them committed to a man, he must have won their hearts. Yes, sir. Freedom of speech includes the freedom to defend people, to offend people by telling the truth. Why? Because the truth will set you free. But first, you will have to be pissed off, unfortunately. This is the approach Master Nadikano has used to wake up the people of Biafra. He made us go back to whom we are. The people of the truth, the people is Okubundu. Truth is life. He also made us begin to see and project into the future. He warned us about the dangers ahead, and as a result, helped to bring us together into one big IPOB family. The work of Master Nandi through the past few years speaks for itself. For over 50 years, that is since the Biafra genocide. In 1967 to 1970, more than 3.5 million women and children were gruesomely and mercilessly massacred. It has been very difficult to bring the Biafra people together since then. However, today, all that has, all that has changed as we, have, we are here present under one roof, representing every different part of Biafra land, working together towards the freedom of our people. This indeed is a great achievement. As a female Biafra freedom fighter, I have learned a lot. Part of which that the reason Africa was left in that continent for over 400 years is that women were not given the rightful place in the government and the leadership, like in other continents. <laughs> Policies and decisions were made on their behalf without allowing them to participate in the process of that decision making. How would you effectively represent those that you cannot comfortably identify with? Rwanda, a nation that suffered genocide as Biafra is today being built up at a very fast pace. Our government is committed to ensuring equal rights for women and men without prejudice to the principle of uh, agenda, um, without prejudice to the principle of uh, gender equality in nation building. 
the 2019-2013 Rwanda parliamentary election, Osha did an unprecedented record-breaking 64% of seats for female candidates, making Rwanda the top country for women in politics. Although we are yet to be fully restored, I believe that IPOB will get more female participation if women yes. Because in Japan land, women will be treated equally. So to every Japan freedom fighter in present here today, see you now, collective future is very important. Therefore, my counsel for us is to see the project as a communal project, not a private business. It is not about me. It is not about you. It is about the people of Biafra. Therefore, there is no need for necessary competition. Just recognize your brothers and sisters' gifts and allow them to work for Biafra. Every Biafra is uniquely gifted. The challenge then is recognizing and maintaining your name in use of your gifts. Also, it is critical for us to boycott every wrong association. The people attack Boys Club for the purpose of this presentation. And the only hang around visionary people and dreamers who will make your dream a reality. And also boycott those selling our rights and the future of our children for their neutrality and their political interests. How do we identify them? They are the ones that can freely speak about freedom in the zoo and they will not be arrested. That's how you know who is against your freedom. Therefore, I'm calling on children of Chuko Gikaviyama, children of God for, in case for our brothers and sisters, especially women, to rise up and be counted towards restoring a nation that will leave a heritage for our children. Finally, having said all this, I urge everyone to press on to this prize that is worth fighting for, a free and fully restored Biafra nation, a super nation of all nations, flowing with milk and honey, that will make life easy for our future generation. All day, Biafra! Of the world, we see trailer loads of dead, mutilated bodies, 
a home environment hostile and discouraging to economic development. All forms and determination in workplaces and places of residence outside the land. And the inevitable consequent nagging, feeling of insecurity and the complex it brings. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me humbly welcome our brothers and sisters from Ijo Nation. Let me welcome our brothers and sisters from Anioma, Isoko, Iropo, Isekiri. All those I believe in Biafra that don't speak Igbo, IGPO, Kachine Tegote Hanaha, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, according to our program, I am going to hand over the microphone to one of our elder statesmen, a leader in the IOP, IPOP, one name, where you go go go. IPOB. One family. IPOB. One family. One family. One family. Oh, we had in Areba. Those who didn't understand what I said said, Ahmadike, oh, you are the reason we are here. Without Ahmadike, oh, there's no here. Without Ahmadike, oh, there's no Biafra. For what is happening to us, we must all raise arm and squash them. Respectfully, all our elders from every part of this world, we recognize you. All our youth, you are going to hear the elders talk to you. Because you will take over. We cannot allow the Fulanese that do not develop anything to destroy us. It will never happen because we're working and Chukai Berma is behind us. All of you that are here today are ordained and blessed. Our country is ours. I just want to thank you for coming. I just want to heartily thank you for coming. Makanasi na oku. On the channel, Kumarisi, Onye, Nasa Brony, Moroku, Abia, Une Mania, I told you some Brono, Macaulo, Nabia, Umonia, and Eva. Onye, do ya one here, Une Adria, Ju, Emichi, Numichana, I went to Biafra. Our elders, our women are charged like our able Houston Zonu coordinator spoke. In IPOB, we work respectfully with the leadership of IPOB on that Namdekano. Therefore, we are here to humbly thank you again. I'll come back and talk to you some other time. I'm the National Coordinator of USA. The National Coordinator of USA. Texas is lucky to have me in that state. I have our brothers and sisters who are here in Houston doing the necessary job. And I acknowledge all of them, whether I call you them or not. We honor you. We thank you. We ask you to continue because history, history will treat you right. History will treat you right and Chukwa Abiyama will continue to bless you for what you do. All you do need to sacrifice. We do it because of our unborn children, our 
future generation, our elders, and us will sacrifice everything sacrificable. We will. We will prove it to you. We're ready to work with those who want to work. We're not ready to work with those who just talk. Or Hadike has done. Or Hadike has done. Done. That's why we follow him. Yes. I will fail to introduce our state coordinator who is here in the house. Mazi Chilobe, please identify yourself. I wanted to make sure that any time you need help, you see these three people, but it's not us. You see our members. We have the registrar. You put your name there, and you put your number there, and you put where you reside, not your home address, anything of that nature. We just want to, if you want us to talk to you, we will come and we serve you. We are here to serve you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll stop you there. Thank you, sir. Hey! God has written today in his book of life. For those of us who are here today, we will all live to witness the proclamation of the Abomination.
of the Biafran veterans, we are going to request all of them to please stand up and let us give them a very big round of applause. All the veterans, all the veterans come out. All the veterans step outside. Chineke ne mema imena ete na derego mama o onye ne nyendo imena ete na derego mama chineke ne mema imena. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Something happened in 1967. We were coming back from primary school, my dad, some Tasculumele Mai, along the road. We saw a flyer. On it was a military man with his medicine. It was written on it. This man is ready. Are you? Omo Biafra, are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. On behalf of our leader, on behalf of our leaders. We are asking our Almighty God, who has continued to retain your life, who has continued to keep you, you will all live to see the proclamation of this great nation. Now, Jesus! Now, Jesus! Now, Jesus! Thank you for telling our leader, Kabu Kolkono Napo. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have our seats? Yes. Can we have our seats? Yes. Please, shut down yourself, for my brothers. Thank you. Thank you. Our Minister for Defense is giving me security instructions. Please, nobody should pass this line. Please, do not extend their movement. Yes. 
joking. You're right. There is something so special about Biafra. I have never been in an any event in hosting. And there is tranquility. It has never happened before. This is the only time in hosting a message is say an event will start at 2, 3, and you see people before 1 30. Jesus. Yes. This is a show. I remember Professor Emel Wale, one of the greatest scientists in the United States. I have told my wife, my wife does not believe in what I believe. And I have told my son, if I die tomorrow, don't cry. Bulam, Bulam, so so live. The Afran flag is tigrim. No, no, Gala. What are you eating? Every family have this same problem. Ninety percent of our women no longer believe from where we come from. That's why I'm going to vote for Trump. Yes. Those of them who say no, Trump will send them home. Those who believe in Jafra, you will all stay. Thank you. The same ladies and gentlemen, there is a proverb in Igbo. Please, our brothers and sisters who come from other tribes, permit me to say this proverb. Opoto. Nemwe oyana sonanya anaganihu. Isn't it? This is our supreme leader. You can't dispute it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to hand over this microphone to the anointed one of God. This is the time to hand over this microphone yes. to the chief servant. Yes. 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 If you are praying, please always remember him in your prayers. Every night we we'll sleep with our wives and children. He has never slept without sleeping with Biafra. He has never woke up without waking up with Biafra. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not qualified to hand over this microphone to our Supreme Leader. I am going to hand over the microphone to our National President, who will distinguishedly and respectfully take it to our leader. Over to you, sir. Yeah. 
Some of us are here in America having fun. You live in very beautiful houses, I must acknowledge. Some of you have two or three cars. You have jobs to go to. You have food to eat. There is 24 hours electricity. There is water. There is also health care for some of you who are working. But where we come from, there is nothing. The reason why there is nothing is because those who are not worthy to be in power are those who are in power. Okay, so put in a kekana basa. I told you, I told you, I told you repeatedly for the past six years, for those who can listen, that a day will come, the Fulanese will march brazenly into our land to demand what doesn't belong to them. A day will come when you will beg to serve the zoo. A day will come when you will have nothing. Nobody will regard you as anything. A day will come when your life will be useless. A day will come when you wish. You have never heard of the name Nigeria before. That day is now. It has come. We are the oldest people in the world. Biafrans are the oldest people on the face of this very planet by, by none. Anakwa Ndibo, Ndibo, the beginning. Because in Igbo lexicon, every name has a meaning. Yes. Every name has a meaning. Yes. The meaning of Igbo, for those who do not know, is ancient. Those that started the process, Ndembo, the very first people. But it's rather very strange. As the scripture made us aware, today the first is now the last. Are we not the last? We are. We are. We are. But unlike some people, I have shame. That is why I do what I do. That is why we do what we do. Because we have honor and dignity. Oh, we don't know how long we are supposed to be feeble. We want to get along with the world. Yeah, yeah. Are you not in the band? You are not banking. Somebody came to America and built it. America did not fall from heaven. Men built it with their hands. The funniest thing is that they needed Biafran labor to be able to complete the assignment. Because without Biafrans, there will be no America. Without Biafrans, the greatest of America will be diminished. Without Biafra, this country would have been nothing. We gave them free service for 200 years. Most of the African Americans you see, you call them Akata. Some of them are your relatives. Some of them are from your family. If you have a child and that child is suffering from a disease you can't understand, it is because you married your own bloodline, which doesn't happen in our culture. Are you aware of that? You cannot even marry from your mother's village. You cannot marry from your grandmother's village. Are you aware of that? We came here, we lost our way, we became very selfish, we reversed everything that is good about us. 
we stopped caring. Those of you in America, you stopped caring. The founders of World Book Congress is here, some of them. What I say behind somebody's back is what I say in front of them. Had World Book Congress done what they were supposed to do, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today. But I do hope under the leadership of Professor Geoffo that things will change. That they will live up to the expectation and rise up to this very challenge from Awusa Fulani. Because two days ago they came for our land that we are no longer content with killing us and raping our mothers in our Kwaibom, in Enugu State and in Ebony. They are no longer content with beheading our fathers when we go to the farms. They are no longer content with raping our daughters as well and abducting them in the process. They have now come to take our land from us. And some of us are in America eating hamburger. Our race is about to become extinct. As I speak to you today, they have come inside the Nugu, as they did in 1967. Because over the years, you refused to speak with one voice. You thought that fighting for leadership is the end all and be all of your relevance, wherever you are. Every association you had was divided into four, five, six, seven, eight. Our men decided to embrace gossip more than anything else. Whilst our mothers were struggling and fighting, our men were busy plotting how to divide every association that ever came up. They became merchants of gossip and waywardness. And that is why we are in this mess. Because had we been together like a people, Fulani will not have the temerity to come to our land in front of our governors to demand that we give our land to them. I told you so. I told you so in Igbo language is Abramuna Agwa. And I said when the time comes, I am assuming the Banyara Siam. Because that is how we say it in my village. We are no longer as intelligent as we used to be. We used to be a very intelligent race. Yep, not anymore. The most gifted, the most talented the most honorable, the most truthful, the most accomplished race in Africa. Today we have been reduced to nothing. That ordinary Imo meeting of Ohaneze cannot be convened. Simple Imo meeting. We have been reduced to issuing press statements on the pages of Yoruba newspapers. But you had a television or before. I'm sure you know that. Do you know the name? It's called Minaj. You know Bossi? Before Chinese came, before AIT came, but he died because it was owned by an evil man. Other evil men refused to invest in that very business. Because of our wickedness and backwardness, the Igbo people that emerged after 1970 is counterfeit, myself included. Yes, so. yes. Fake. 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 They no longer see 
what is coming ahead. Nkiruka. They no longer have hope anymore. We became scavengers. And that is the reason why our land is going. That is why Fulani people can decide who becomes your governor. They tell you, no matter what you like you can do, we determine who governs. And they do as we tell them. How do you explain or pontify a governor in office? Full of the men are in our land killing us. In Anambra, in Anam. Obi Anna never said anything. <laughs> the funniest thing is that um, some of us don't realize the mess we are in. We don't know it. And I can assure you that impunity upon impunity is happening in our villages today. The reason why you don't hear about it is because the Yorubas are in charge of the media. They won't publish it. Yes. Our enemies are plentiful. As I said earlier today, I will paraphrase it today. There is the zoo called Nigeria. By the way, anybody who says he's a Nigerian is an animal, I'm sure you know that. How many of you here are Nigerians? How many of you here are from the zoo? Some of us are not ashamed to answer the name that was concocted. Nigeria means the lowest of the low. The land of niggers. Those who are abandoned. That is the meaning of nigger area. Nigeria that you answer. You are not ashamed of yourself and you say you're Nigerian. Can anybody tell me the meaning of the word Nigeria that you're so proud of? Bigger area. Bigger area. The woman that gave you the name saw you as a baboon. Some of you wonder why Africa is always poor. Every year poor. And the poverty in Africa is making it impossible for white people to respect black people in America. Don't you know that? Yes. 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 The reason why Europeans are respected is because Europe is doing well. Yes. Yes. You respect Japanese in America because Japan is doing very well. Yes. Is that not true? And some of them come here visa free on a visa waiver program. Yes. That is how you know you've arrived. The only country with that privilege in Africa is South Africa. And surprise, surprise, it was run by white people for so many years. I don't know if we are thinking at all. Yes, sir. Now the question is this. What is your purpose on this very earth? Hmm. Is it to be a slave and a servant? After that, your children take over from you, and after that, their children in perpetuity. As you think you're giving birth to your children that maybe go to Harvard or to Yale, you're giving birth to future generation of slaves in America. The reason being that Africa is so horribly bad that nothing good comes out of it. The white man came from Europe.
came into our land and said, you, 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 from today, your name is Nigeria. And nobody asks questions. Ask yourself this very question then. Do you think that as an African, you can go into Europe and say to maybe Hungary and Belgium and say, you, 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 from today, your name is Europa. Can you do that? That means you're not equal to a white man. It means you're inferior. Because there are things he can do to you that you cannot do to him. That makes you inferior. There is only one solution. That solution is Biafra. I said the solution is Biafra. The solution of black people is Biafra. The solution to the problems in Africa is Biafra. That's my job. I tell you something and you ignore it. Give it maybe. Uh, you will see it. Everything I told you came to pass. Only one is remaining, and that is Biafra. And I assure you. the finest of the finest I am very very proud of who I am I consider myself very lucky to have been born a Biafra and that is why I'm very very proud of Biafra that is why I will die a Biafra and that is why this Biafra flag will raise up and that is why we will get our independence and we will be free The same thing they did to Azikiwe they are today doing to all of us. Yes. Zeke was begging them to go to school. They said no. The same Ebele, Azikiwe, that's the name of Jonathan, isn't it? Achomi Hoge, Menku, Gasna, Menkuola. Good luck, Jonathan went to Asorok, as his namesake did. His concern was uh, Fulani education, I'll imagine. And he reminds me of Obama. Because I know some of you here foolishly vote for Democratic Party. I say foolishly. Yes. Yes. Who ended slavery in America? Which party? Republican. Which party? Republican. Which party is the party of slave owners in America? Which party? I said to am I allowed to am I doubling in their politics here? Freedom of speech. Uh, are you sure that Mullah will not open up a probe against Biafra for meddling in a nation in America? No! <laughs> Don't worry, I will not open up a probe against Biafra. I said to people that when you elect a Democrat as a president, the only thing they can do for you is to
to increase the amount they pay you of food stamp. But the Republican Party believes in what is called tough love. You may not like it. Yes. But over time it will help you. Yes. Yes. I prefer that person that tells me the truth to my face. Yes. That the one that will be pretending. Yes. Supporting Al Majidi in the north. Yes. Obama destroyed Libya. It was Obama that chased away Jonathan and put in Buhari before yeah. Buhari died. Yeah. I think it was um, President um, Johnson that introduced the New Deal in America, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, that A landmark social welfare program. What are you going to remember Obama by? <laughs> and he was there for eight years. And some people are grumbling. And I asked them and I said, that thing that Obama as a black man could not do for you for eight years, how do you want a white man Trump to do it for you in three years? Am I making any sense here? Yes. A lot of sense. Yes. I, I wish they can deport all of us. Get a response. I'm giving you a good response. We waste all our watch here, no more. Because they do ever. All over the world. Hey! Japan, South Africa, South Korea. Now we are family. Now we are going to root the world. Only then will our senses come back. Yes. Some of you here are engineers, architects, doctors, um, medical practitioners, pharmacists, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nurses. Don't you think it would be better if you're a pharmacist in your village? Yeah, of course. Huh? Watch it again. I like the way that Americans protect their country and how proud they are of it. Some people left from the seaport of Southampton in England aboard a ship called Mary Rose. They came here to found a new civilization under God. They succeeded in doing that and that today makes America the longest surviving hegemonic civilization since the history of humanity began. A few people. That boat could have sunk in the Atlantic. They knew the dangers they were facing. But the hope that America held and the vision of a new nation was so compelling that every immediate danger Faded into significance. The sight was set on the goal. I don't know what your goals are for our people back home. Because we are dying. And those you put at home to take care of your states, they are our Sarfulani slaves. They are also killing you. Some of you here, when I formed the BSS, I'm sure some of you here grumbled and said, Is that not true? Yes. Yes. But I said that the reason why I formed BSS was to counter the coming of the Fulanese because I know they are coming. I see things that they cannot see. I knew that the Fulanis will come. I was preparing three years ahead. Some of you conspired. Let me ask you, I'm going to by midnight here, it's six o'clock back home. I'm going to go see them. You know, early morning gossip is very potent. 
Apote kini uretuwa na awoya na brain That evil men, governors, or Hanese, on their own decided to invite Fulani army to come and kill me, my family, and IPOB. Okay. Okay. And now that they have come into our land, the same people are saying that we are ready. And somebody asked them, uh, You are ready? to defend our land against Fulani. Where are your children? The same IPOB that was set up to defend our land that they betrayed are the ones they are relying upon to defend our land today. The reason why they are relying on IPOB is because they know we can do it. We have done it before. We continue to do it today. We shall continue to do it until Biafra comes. What I find very shocking is that people don't ask, what are we going to do to stop these people? When I seek for advice, what they tell me is to embrace prayer. <laughs> or to try the diplomatic process. No, I will not. And it's in your village. What other diplomacy can this demon understand? If not an AK-47 for an AK-47. Oh. I hope you are recording these proceedings. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. All over the world. If those of you here today in this hall in Houston, we are, I believe, WIC started. I, when they started WIC here, God was trying to send a message to them, but yes. I'm not sure they saw it. Yes. WIC was set up here for this very day, for now. But I'm not sure that they quite um, understood the message. Omo ekwa nebu na village. Omo di aro game na sin eba ihan mo na wo kono kuya. Isn't that what we say? Yes, sir. Wo kono kuya ba? What Fulani's did is to say we went to kill Nambikan. We killed IPOB family members, and now Nambikan is abroad. We can march into Biafra, nobody can stop us. You don't know that? Yes. When I came out of prison and was back home, did you hear about Fulani Hetman? We drove them away. And because of the carrot of Igbo presidency in the year 2096, have been following the news, you will hear it. Those that own the zoo called Nigeria, Miyetiala, they said it today. You know that meeting in Enugu, they sent their secretary, not the big organ. The big organ was waiting. The funny thing is that the secretary went to Enugu and told Dave Umahi, eh, we are prepared to offer you the presidency, but in return, give us your land. Therefore, man, he said, I'll, you know, typical, I'll consider it. You know what they did? That an Igbo man can never, ever be the president of the zoo. And to add to that, neither will um, Tinubu. 
<laughs> you don't know the game they are playing with Britain. They have gotten everybody where they want them. Now, believe you me, if they fall on it, so please, they can decide to rule the zoo forever and ever. There is nothing anybody can do about it. I said there is nothing we can do about it. You go to tribunal in the court to say, oh, my mandate was stolen from me. And the lawyer you're running to, Nigerian Bar Association, is running from the government. Government wants to kill them. Are you following? Yes. You are coming from this door. Maybe FBI is pursuing you from here. You my himetry. FBI is ever not telling. And you are running maybe to our where is the security security man is here. Oh, oh, and he's here defending you. But before you could get to the middle here, you security man was your son. CIA is pursuing him. That place. Are you following? Justice in the land. I want to go to the courts to find or seek him and the to seek redress. <laughs> Before you go to the court, the judges we are on the Hana Bosso judges in Abosso. <laughs> the same thing pursue you is pursue the judges. that led the Nigerian Bar Association to proclaim that Nigeria is a lawless society and somebody will wake up tomorrow morning and say I am a Nigerian sometimes I'm not trying to excuse um racial abuse or attack but i'm being very honest if i read through the papers every day you come from this hopeless british creation called nigeria where nothing works people are fleeing trekking through sahara desert and dying in the process drowning in the mediterranean humiliated sold into slavery in tripoli abused as house slaves in Saudi Arabia and you still wake up and say I am a proud Nigerian oh no I won't feel sorry for you because you are foolish beyond foolishness I belong to that very group of their friends that came here as slaves somewhere in a place called savannah in georgia and they said to the white man instead of me to serve you as a slave i would rather die yes 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 they sang themselves if we know what has befallen us as a people as a race There will be urgency on the part of everybody to make sure that Biafra is restored. Mm -hmm. Because I tell you today, the most educated people outside white Americans are Biafrans in America. The most successful in terms of their own business startups and enterprise are their friends here in America. We are all these things for a reason. Not so that you can become very selfish and cocoon yourself in your detached homes and well manicured lawns and gardens. Chukwo Kikarabia might give you that grace that you may be able to use it to 
do better, not just to yourself, but from the environment where you come from. Yes! And failure to do it. You know what the Bible... Failure to do it. Failure to do it. And let me warn you, all of you here are gathered. That's why I asked if this thing has been recorded. If you don't rise up from this very day, from this moment, to support IPOB, to confront the mess that our land has become, in the hands of Fulani, Janja Wade, jihadists, God will not forgive you. Amen. Even the land of America will not forgive you. I know some of you may think I'm having fun. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Somebody get it to me from America. Oh, 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 There are some people that think that they are leadership material. Yes. They want to lead. They join meetings because they are craving leadership. Yes. Not that they have anything to offer. I know. I know. If you want to lead, you come and lead and we'll follow you. But IPOB has a mind of his own. If I stop living up to expectation, this same IPOB that I set up will reject me. Do you know that? Yes. yes. And IPOB does not belong to me. No. Uh -uh. Biafra does not belong to me. No. It doesn't belong to my family. It belongs to all of us. Yes. Yes, sir. The reason why some of you lose sleep at night that they call him supreme leader. <laughs> my Lord and my is because some of your priorities are misplaced. Yes. Yes. The supreme leader they call me is a guy name. <laughs> it's not an official title. My daddy and mama is not an official title. Are you hearing me? It is not an official title. It's a nickname. It's like Otu Ahane to go Mohammedika. I'm a woman down in Wewe. I'm a man in Wewe. Here to serve you, not to be supreme over anybody. Anybody that knows me yes. will testify that I'm a very humble person. So. All the anger that I have inside me is against the enemies of Biafra. <laughs> no, so against Biafra will hurt you. If you're against Biafra, will destroy you. Yes. That's why I'm. Looking in my direction and said, My Lord and my Savior. What did you say about Papa? That also is a kind of. They say it because, listen, when they go online and see sponsored attacks against IPOB and myself, they develop this as a defense mechanism and as a weapon of attack against that very person. That's why they do it. 
not that anybody is coming to replace Yeshua. When I pray every day, I pray seven times a day, and I said to I am only but flesh. One day I will die, but your word will live forever. And your word says that Biafra will come. And in my turn, that Biafra will come. And that is my hope. I am explaining this here out of respect for Houston. Can you go to your former? I am not a supreme leader. I am a supreme servant. Are you listening to me? They say it because they want to spite those. The reason why we do what we do is not so that we can fly all over the world and address our people or that we can put our lives in danger in search of a greater glory we do what we do because we have been mandated divinely to ensure that Biafra comes in our time and if Biafra doesn't come then there is no God in heaven Oh, here now, watching the camera, God, yeah, mama. That's what I pray. That's what I pray. Because your word is here and amen. Everything you say must come to pass. Though heaven and earth may pass away, but your word shall remain. Your word says that Biafra will come. Then, therefore, Biafra must come. If Biafra doesn't come, you will all be destroyed. Now we will be I said, if you don't fight for Biafra to come, believe you me, out of anger, Chukokika Biama will obliterate our race. Some of you want to leave, now is the time. You don't need permission from me, not from our national coordinator, not even from Monarchy. Go and organize IPOB wherever you are. Do you know why it has to be IPOB? Because we never retreat nor surrender. IPOB will keep going until Biafra comes. Yes. Nobody can buy us. Nobody can intimidate us. Yes. Nobody can stop us from doing what we are doing. Yes. And by the way, we are the only people that the foreigners are afraid of. Yes. I don't Only IPOB can defend our land. And only you can support IPOB. If you don't support IPOB, my own passport color is red. I'm not going to be able Just understand that if you don't fight for your land, you forfeit the right to get angry anytime you are insulted. Yes, absolutely. Do they insult Japanese people here? No. no. Do they insult Japanese people here? No. And I'm not in Japan ever. Ordinary Malaysia of yesterday, do they insult Malaysians here? China, come on, China. I tell me, come on. China, one. Do they insult Chinese? Do you know why? All these places are developed and civilized. But sadly, Africa is not developed. It doesn't matter your title in Houston. 
It doesn't matter where you work. How many PhDs you've accumulated? How many white friends you have? Or oh, uh, maybe how many mixed-race children you have? You can never be white. You can never be. Until you do those things that white people do, nobody can respect you. We will remain beggars for life. Oh God, when I read you, give us visa. Can I you? I'm just saying. Can I? Can I? I'm just so sorry. Maybe you need to. Some of us here are not ashamed that your own children will use their two legs to walk through the desert, to go to Europe, or to be auctioned off as slaves in North Africa. You are not ashamed of yourself. In our body, say, I'm a big man. I've arrived. I have got 20 degree. I'm an engineer. Rubbish. You are nothing. <laughs> but a glorified house, um, nothing. Come up where. You decide what you choose to do from this day onwards. It is up to you. I'm at Agaba in Houston, more or less having fun. I'm praising Elohim for IPOB. But our land is under occupation. The phase of diplomacy has gone through the window. How do we drive them out is the question. And the only people that can do it is IPOB. Why do you also? Why do you also? Before man and before God in heaven. So your petty envy and jealousy can't get you anywhere. You might have to be as weak. Fly in a good in my village. And I'm a ten and you go. You want your name in your majesty at the seat. No, no, how bad. The bad nigga no matter how you get more. And you want to rescue all of them. And you want a white man to respect you. When you can't even respect yourselves, we're in another man's land. Yes, we built it, but by force, not voluntary. And that is why Biafra will come. All this guy is synchronized. As I was coming here, my wife was coming in. Somebody saw my picture with uh, Monachi. You know Monachi is a troublemaker. I'm a person by the MEC. Except for that. All the same. What I want all of you to understand is this. That you are better off working with IPOB to restore the Afro. Because if you like, you join us. If you like, you don't. One thing is certain. Biafra will come. Yes. And when Biafra comes, you will not come to Biafra land. And he said, he said, he said. He said. Yes. Yes. He 
If you don't support IPOB, if you like, take an uh, aeroplane to Rwanda and get temporary citizenship from Rwanda to come into Biafra land, we will not allow your plane to land. <laughs> because we are not foolish. No, we are not. You see, sometimes when people get angry in the Western world and they become racist towards black people, we don't actually capture the whole picture. All of us here, we have mobile phones, yes? Yes. Did mobile phone fall from heaven? No. Do you know that your mobile phone works with the satellite orbiting this very earth? Yes. Do you know how many people died to put one satellite in orbit? It's called sacrifice. All you do is you come, you consume, you consume, you consume. You don't contribute. That is why sometimes they're upset. India has gone to space. So has China. Maybe even, I think Brazil has gone as well. There is no indigenous African country that has ever gone to space. I said none. And you want to participate, you want to partake in enjoying what comes out of this without understanding the sacrifice that goes with it. Some people are sitting down laughing at IPOB. We are dying. They are killing us. You can never ask yourself, how can I help? All that you're concerned about is, um, who is their leader? What a career. He's a small boy. Yes? He didn't find the word. At what age did Obama go to become their president here? 40, 48? 42. Oh, 46? 42? 42? No. Let's say in his 40s, yes? But he's a small boy. According to our culture, he's a small boy. That is how selfish some of our elders, they say all of our elders, some of them are. Because when the wealth man left, most of them were in their early 20s. Late 20s, early 30s. They were given the responsibility to pilot the affairs of the nation. But in our time, in our own tongue, they say we are small. And I said to them, for the past 50 years, with all due respect in the world, what have you achieved for us? I'm not trying to insult anybody because if you've achieved something, Fulani cannot come to our land and say they want to take it. It is an indictment of the same type of association politics we have been playing for 52 years. If I ask some people here, they will say we have our own group. Our group is called this Utundia, this gathering, that association. But all of us put together in other associations, we are worth nothing. Because if we are worth something, there is no way Fulani can come to Enugu and say to us, we want your land. Are you following? You know, we don't take criticisms very well. May I take it? But some people can't. What do we expect you to do? Is there any reason why all of you here gathered today will not come to Washington next year? for a match to let the world know what is happening to us. Any reason? No. Any reason? No. We will march next year on the 3rd of July. Why are we going to march on the 3rd of July? Because when you are in the country of a white man, for you to get anything, you must demonstrate on the street. If you don't, nobody will listen to you. That is a fact of life. 
before women got the vote in America, the suffragette movement, they went to Washington, they demonstrated. Before Martin Luther King, may, may God rest his soul. May God rest his soul. May God rest his soul. Before he sacrificed his life for all of you. He marched in Washington. That you may have all those fancy jobs you have today. Without him, you would have had all the jobs you have now. None of you. It's called sacrifice. As you also know, you can say, I'm working at your labor and order. You must follow people what they have done before. You can't sit in your house and write Trump about Biafra and Trump will respond. It's impossible. What clouds do you command? If we go to Washington next year, when they look through their windows on Capitol Hill and they see one million Biafras marching, you don't need to write to them, they will write to you. That is the paradox of the skyscraper. Do you know it? You know, after colonialism, at independence, most of the so-called nationalist leaders, in the case of the zoo, I call them the three blind mice. Um, they said they started abroad. They saw Chrysler Tower, you know those beautiful fancy tall buildings. Yes. They went to Marina Lagos and built their own. You know those tall buildings. Yes. Then uh, grandmother and I lived the rock. <laughs> but they're in a skyscraper. Because there's skyscraper in New York. So we have to build one here as well. And after four years, no running water anymore. You live on the 50th floor. If there's a rubber get to in a well and carry it up the stairs because, of course, lift is not working anymore. But you live in the skyscraper in Africa. Do you know why I call it the paradox of the skyscraper? Because when we come to this part of the world, all we see is the fancy stuff. Do you know that? Yes. The glittering fancy stuff, that's what we see. We never ask ourselves the discipline that underpins that very productive process. Discipline. Biafra cannot be free until you fight for it. You must fight for it. Yes. Anybody telling you that I'm not here in a tea like independence is a bloody lie. You must tell the world you exist. Mm -hmm. You must tell your politicians here in America not to take the vote of Biafrans for granted. Yes. You must show them how many you are. Yes. You must let them know that you are here. Yes. That you hold the key to determine who goes into the White House in 2020. Yes. You can determine it. And once they know you have that power, anything you want, they give it to you. That is how politics works. Not politics of the zoo. You carry money all over the place. Here is different. I expect you to be teaching me this. Therefore, those of you who are Nigerians, <laughs> Those who decide to remain a part and parcel of the zoo, you have seen where it has gotten us today. Yes. Uh -huh. Have you seen it? Yes, sir. Do you know that friendly husband have come? Do you know that? Do you know that? Some of you don't know. And anybody who doesn't know may Trump deport them or their children he back said, to you. 
man wants me because of the oil. Are you enjoying the oil? Huh? One billion dollars missing. One billion stolen by a full animal. Listen, I said one billion dollars. And the idiot came out openly to tell the whole world that he doesn't know where the money is. Don't you dare to read about it. The reason I'm going to get to the car, I'm going to see him there. Who will challenge them? No men in the land. Only some men too. Listen carefully. Do you know there's a difference between billion and million? Do you know? Billion starts with B. Million starts with M. Is that correct? Billion, will you pick it in the calculator or zero or poor, zero or poor? No more space. If you like, you try it. Only Same was given, listen carefully, 400 million naira. Which highest is um, 1.4 million dollars? If it's, in fact, it's, I think it's 1 million dollars anyway. And he's been dragged through the court every blessed day. Every blessed day. Money they gave him for campaign. But a full honey man sat down and swallowed 1 billion dollars. Now, do you see how meaningless all those associations have been yes, coming out of you see how useless. Useless. Because if you're strong, such nonsense won't happen. No. Now, the reason why I keep pointing out the impotency of our associations, proliferation, everywhere you go, there's a new group. Everywhere you go to, all amounts to zero. Zero, nothing. Only Miyeti Allah, one organization, one from Fulani, only one. And they have taken us over. Or indeed, when I say, I want to form my own, my, my, my own faction. Do you see how Fulani people succeeded in achieving their 200 year old agenda of conquering everybody? For 200 years, the plan that executed this. And I told you in Los Angeles that they're in a hurry. Before I flew from LA to Houston, they have come into our land asking us because they know that your petty envy and jealousy of IPOB, of Undam the Canon, will prevent you from supporting IPOB. Capable of defending our land. So, full of people are counting on your wickedness. Yes, they are. That's what they're relying upon. Oral and Oginime, Ekura Nuku, Ekashe. You people are the reason why full of is in our land. You are the reason all those useless groups and associations and are formed everywhere came down to nothing, zero, nada. Oh, because you are some zero, you can't lose you. If 
you don't rise up, our land will be gone. And if the men cannot do it, I'm sure that our mothers can. Yes, sir. If our men cannot do it, our mothers will. Oh, when they now go, we now say, oh, I'm going to go to it. didn't start today. The first people to rise up against European rule in Africa. The first people. The whole of Africa. They are from women. And maybe the time has come for them again to take the lead once more. Yes. I don't remove myself when I say things. What I tell you is for our own good. That we may change and become better dear friends. Become better Igbo people, better Ajos. Better Ibibio, better Anang, better Idoma, better Igala. Can anybody tell me here the title of the traditional ruler of Igala? Do you believe that Igala people and Igbo people are related? Yes. Do you believe it? Have you heard of the title before, the Atta of Obosi? You have Atta in your village? His brother. They are from Egala. You know the man they call Iweka? You know Iweka, they named Opa Iweka after him. Do you know he's an Egala man? From Obosi? Is that correct? Yes! He Akuko. I may have uh, been born and raised in the village. I'm from Akubo. My daddy and mama. We talk about so big and so I'm back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and Ibo are one. When we say that a Ghana is part of Biafra, we know what we are talking about. Yes. When we say that Idoma is part of Biafra, we know what we are talking about. Yes. When we say that Ijo is part of Biafra, we know what we are saying. Yes. When we say that Isoko is Biafra, we know what we are talking about. Yes. Yes. Is there anybody who is dressed like a proper Biafran woman here? Two piece wrap. Anybody here? Upa Pabu. Oh, Upa Pabu. Come on. Open an egg. Go. 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 Go.